In this video we'll show you how to make a power up for your character. So I'll start by putting that class in here. I'm just going to use the star that uh, Mario typically sees when he's in, uh, or at least something similar, uh, when he's playing that game. Uh, and it's just a placeholder so I'm not really going to add any code to it. But uh, now we need to jump over and do quite a bit of work with Mario here. Now the first thing I'm going to do just to, uh, you know, I guess role model some better coding. Uh, last time I hard coded that one there, uh, I'm actually going to change that to be a variable. And that variable I'm going to put to use with the power up. So let's go back up here and we're going to have to add that variable now to Mario's properties. So one of the things now that Mario is going to keep track of is how strong the fireballs are that he shoots. And I'll still initialize it like I did before with one. So there's no real new net effect on the code, it's just that the code's a bit more robust. Uh, now the next thing I'm going to take a look at is if I'm using power-ups, I'm probably only going to be uh, using them for a fixed amount of time. So in here I'm going to go and make a counter for it. And um, I'll initialize it at zero. Okay, um, so now if I think about um, doing these power-ups and more of them in the future, if I sort of look ahead a bit, I'd probably realize that I'd be setting properties back to default. And in this case, these properties here are really what happens when Mario first begins. Uh, they have nothing really to do with his abilities, they're just initializing the first time he goes in the world. However, the ones down here, uh, these are his default abilities in terms of like the fireball strength, the speed, the shooting distance, that kind of stuff. So when I do a reset, those are the ones that I want to set back to zero. Um, so I'm going to take these out, and I'm going to make a new method. And I'm going to call it default abilities. You could use a smaller term, I suppose, but uh, that's enough. It gets the point across. So I'm going to call it by method now. So again, the purpose is that now whenever I reset Mario back to his, his original strength, I have a method that keeps track of it, and I uh, only need to refer to these values in that one place. I don't have to manage them or remember them all over the place in the code. Um, otherwise, they might sort of appear like magic numbers, like y is 2 the default speed. Um, this way I only ever declared in the one place. Okay, um, so we've got a fireball, or sorry, a power-up counter, and we've got a fireball strength. Uh, now it's time to go put in a method that will process this power-up. Um, so I've added this line of code into the act method, process power-up, and I need to go and add the same method to Mario's code. So I'm going to put it down here at the very end, and I'm going to paste it in just to save a bit of time. So there's the process power-up method, um, and I'll just tell you my logic so you can kind of understand how I designed it. Um, so every time when we ask Mario to act, we have to think about what's happening. So if the power-up counter is greater than zero, that means someone's given him a special ability and there's still more of it left. He hasn't run out of this special ability. So in that case, I don't want to allow any new power up so I'm blocking it. Down here is where I'll figure out if I should give him a power-up or not. So if he's working on a power-up right now, then I'll just keep decrementing that power up. Um, and when I hit zero, that means I know the time's up. So that's here. If I hit zero, um, sorry, it's not resetting him, it's the default abilities. And uh, the else branch means this power up counter must be less than or equal to zero. So whatever power up he might have had in the past has expired. So that means I can check to see if I'm touching a power up right now. And in my case, I can see if I'm touching the star class, um, then what should happen? Um, let's remove it so that that way I can't just keep recollecting this power up. And I'll give him this ability for 50 act cycles. And what the ability is, is that his strength goes up to three. So the um, fireball in this case would get a paratrooper out of the game uh, instantly. It won't take any, uh, before it was at power strength one, so it would take three shots to actually finish off a power trooper. Now that everything's compiled, I can add this star, this power up to Mario's uh, world. 
and what I'll do, I'll just uh, I'll show you one way you can check to see the effects is if you right click your character, you can see all the methods here. You can also inspect them and then you can see all their properties. You can see here that the fireball strength is one. So um, I'm going to close it and then if I run this, now my fireball strength should be at three. And I'm going to make use of this. So I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit just to show it to you. But now I'm going to use the fireball. I'm going to push the F key and it'll disappear in the one shot. So there he goes. It's actually kind of hard to even see him there. But uh, now that the act counter has gone on for a little while longer, it should have expired. So again, I can go and inspect Mario and show you now uh, that the power up uh, has gone back to strength one since it's expired. So that's sort of the basics of a power up. Uh, I'm going to also show you uh, a better design that makes your you know, your code a little bit more robust in terms of being able to add several power-ups or other features like that.